we're not accepted as Christians. Well, how's your integrity? What kind of example are you being? If we want to be treated equally and respected as men and women of God, then we need to live our lives by the same standards as everybody else. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen? Promiscuity is a problem. Not just in our community. Straight people, gay people. We have straight people here. Thank you, Jesus. It is a problem all the way around. And a lot of that, I'll be honest with you, a lot of it is a problem because people are looking for love the wrong ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And I am not here to judge. I'm here to teach you the truth. I know what it's like when you first begin to discover who you really are and your hormones are going crazy. Mm -hmm. I remember those days really well when I was a little bit younger, in my early 20s, and I finally had peace with myself, and my hormones were going crazy, and I was like, thank you, Jesus, I have peace, now where's a woman? <laughs> I'm just being real honest with you all today. I went through that phase, and I don't share that because I'm proud of that. I share that to let you know that I understand. We all go through that sowing our wild oats, the trouble is, some people just keep sowing and sowing and sowing. <laughs> 20 years down the road, they're still sowing some wild oats. I'll tell you what will change that. When you fall in love with Jesus Christ, He will begin to deal with you about that kind of a lifestyle. We need to have respect for God's temple. If you are here today and you are single, how many people here are single? Let me tell you something. There's going to be some temptation for you. Loneliness is horrible. And sometimes we just want to feel close to somebody. Amen? But honor God's temple and don't jump quick and say, God, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I know this is who you want me to be with for the rest of my life. You might say, well, that's a little old-fashioned. That's holy. That's biblical. Amen? If you are... Amen. If you are here and you have a partner, there's going to be temptation for you as well. You need to see that commitment that you've made as a promise. And you need to honor it. Amen? Some people say, and I've had so many people since we started church to say this. A lot of people hear about our church and they really think we're just wild people. That anything goes. Not in this church. Not as long as I pastor here. And I've had people come here expecting that. And I've had people say, well, pastor, people are just more open-minded nowadays. You know, it's kind of like, you know, whatever floats your boat. And here's my response to that. My boat can only sail when the master is on board. And when the master is on board, he says to me to honor him with my body. And if you want to call that close-minded, call it that if you want. I call it pleasing my heavenly father. A lot of people are getting into open relationships. You know, when I was little, I'm sure I was just like any other kid. I had trouble with the share, whole sharing thing. I am a very giving person. If I have food and you're hungry, I will share it with you. If you need clothes to wear and I have something you can wear, I will share that with you. If you need a bed to sleep in, you can come to my house, I will share that with you but I will not share my partner. Amen. I will not. Because to me, when you share, it no longer is sacred and intimate between two, two people. Amen. 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 I told somebody this morning who texted me, he couldn't be here. I was like, well, I'm going to make sure you get a copy. 
And I told them the subject, and they was like, oh, my Lord. 